Let's move back to West Africa, where Ghana's central bank has an inflation target range of between 13% and 15% for the current year, sharply down from an average of 30% reported back in 2023. The governor of the Bank of Ghana, Ernest Addison, says today in his post-MPC briefing that the, BOG, the BOG's inflation target is expected to hit even lower to between 6 and 10% next year as the BOG cuts headline interest rates by 100 basis points to 29%. The committee noted that global growth had remained relatively subdued in 2023, while the ease in global inflation had triggered a pause in monetary policy tightening across key economies. Global economic activity moderated somewhat in the year. Declining energy and food prices, together with tight monetary policy, have exerted downward pressures on headline inflation. Although major central banks have paused on their policy rate hikes due to declining inflation, global financing conditions remain tight as the past effects of the restrictive policies continue to keep borrowing costs high. The global outlook remains uncertain with geopolitical tensions and its potential spillovers to the commodities markets acting as a major risk factor to most economies. On the domestic economy, there are clear indications that the current macroeconomic framework being implemented with the support of the IMF ECF program is yielding positive results. The macroeconomic fundamentals have all trended in the right direction. Both headline and core inflation are declining and projected to decelerate further. Inflation expectations seem well anchored. Fiscal policy implementation is broadly in line with expectations. The current account balance is in surplus and will likely remain so in the near term. Foreign exchange buildup has been strong and should support a stable exchange rate outlook. The benchmark key interest rate indicator the 91-day treasury bill rate also declined over a year in response to macroeconomic conditions. These conditions have fed into sentiments with improvements in business and consumer confidence. Growth, however, remains below potential, requiring policy support, including help from the supply side. In broad terms, the banking sector remained stable despite the elevated credit risks. Banks' liquidity and profitability positions have improved in the aftermath of the domestic debt restructuring. The bank is closely monitoring the capital restoration efforts of the banks in line with approved plans, including through support from the Ghana Financial Stability Fund. It is expected that early recapitalization and effective risk management by banks will help promote overall banking sector stability and resilience and ensure effective financial intermediation to strengthen the economic recovery efforts. The country's external buffers have increased, providing support for exchange rate stability. Improved forex inflows from the IMF disbursements, receipt of the COCOS indicated loan, and expected funding from the World Bank's development policy operations are all expected to help improve foreign exchange inflows. In addition, the Gold for Reserve program of the bank, repatriation of foreign exchange from mining and oil companies, reduction in debt service payments would further support reserve buildup and improve the external sector outlook. Headline inflation declined sharply by more than 30 percentage points in the course of 2023. Several factors have supported the disinflation process, namely the tight monetary policy stance throughout 2023, favorable international crude oil prices, which led to stable export prices and transportation costs, relative stability in the exchange rate. The latest forecasts suggest that the disinflation process will continue and headline inflation is expected to ease to around 13 to 17 percent by the end of 2024, before gradually trending back to within the medium-term target range of 6 to 10 percent 
by 2025. These forecasts notwithstanding, there are upside rates to the inflation outlook and there is the need for strict implementation of the 2024 budget and a tight monetary policy stance to sustain the disinflation process. The committee noted the emerging recovery but sees the need to maintain a strong policy stance to consolidate the disinflation gains. Under these circumstances, the committee decided to reduce the monetary policy rate by 100 basis points to 29%.